Hey guys, what's up? Toba Loco here. Welcome back to the UEFA Euro 2024 DLC for EAFC. And today we're going to be doing a run with Slovakia. Slovakia was another highly requested nation amongst, well, loads of others. You know, I've done a few already, but I'm still getting a lot of requests for like Croatia, uh, Czechia as well. Um, I've seen a few people suggest Hungary as well. So yeah, we'll get round to it. Just uh, be patient. So, when we randomise it, sometimes the game might put some non-qualified teams in there. And I know that there's not a lot of non-qualified teams on this game, which is very disappointing. However, it will spice things up a little bit. So, in 3, 2, 1, boom. And we are in a group with Austria, Albania and Norway. So, they put non-qualified Norway in into our group I can see Iceland made it as well so the game has put in a couple of non-qualified teams Wales are up there as well all right then so let's have a quick look at the Slovakian squad and I only know a couple of these players only a few so um, I have heard of Lobotka I've heard of him before and I've heard of Skrinja as well of course he's uh, quite a famous defender and Dubravka in there as well um, used to play for Newcastle. I'm not sure if he's still there or not. The most famous Slovakians I know are obviously um, Martin Skrtl and um, Hamzik as well. And I'm absolutely showing my age with those two footballers references there. But yeah, these guys I don't really know too much. But um, I think we could have a good run here with uh, Slovakia. Could be quite good. You know, they've got quite high rated players dotted around the pitch. You know, Lobotka and Skriniar and Hanko as well could be players to watch out for. Here we go then, Slovakia versus Austria in this group. And I'd like to get out of this group, you know, just as a forward prediction. I'd love to get out of this group and maybe round the 16 quarterfinals. I think I could do that with Slovakia today. Come on then, Slovakia, show me what you got. I want to have a better run than what we did with uh, Romania. Of course, we had a Scotland run as well, which was fantastic. I'm not going to absolutely spoil that for you, but... You know, it was amazing. It's a through ball. And here we go. This is a chance. It saved the power on that shot. Wasn't the best. Come on, stop Austria. No, okay, okay. Defending on this game, I've said it in multiple runs, but it's absolute garbage sometimes. And it, that is 1-0. Look at this. Look. What is this defending? <laughs> like, what are you supposed to do? Here we go. Oh, saved again by the Austrian keeper. Austria pressing, and that's a good save. Again, my defending, just very poor at the moment. We've had a couple of chances, but Slovakia just can't get back into the game. I'm hoping that can change in the second half. You know, I find it so easy to concede goals on this game. Through ball. And just come across there and stolen. I'm just getting shut down by Austria, who have done so well to... Just really lock me down. I mean, it's still only a 1-0. I'm surprised the game hasn't, like, gone absolutely crazy and gone to, like, a 4-0 or something. Might have to bring out the cheese in a minute. Into the box. Go for the strike. And it's saved again by the Austrian keeper. Our chances have just not been good enough. Into the middle. We're pushing. Is there a chance? No, there isn't. How many times have we got to shoot on net? It doesn't help that I can't change the camera angle. So look at this. I'm in the co-op cam. And I've changed it twice. You know, I've gone back to the co-op cam. And does it change it to the co-op cam? No, it doesn't. It still has the default camera. Into the box. Yes! Slovakia! Late equaliser and it's Bosnik with the goal. And we've rescued this game. How many times, how many times did we have attempts on goal and we couldn't do it. But Slovakia have equalised and that is 1-1. Okay, well it's going to be a draw. But I mean Austria were probably going to be a tricky side anyway. There always are on this DLC. A draw against Austria, that's fantastic. We move on to the next two group games. So Slovakia's next match is going to be against Albania. I actually haven't faced against Albania in this DLC yet. I played as them and they were a decent team but um, you know going against them I have no idea what they're going to be like. Given away by Albania can we press upfield? 
with Slovakia. Good ball movement. A bit lucky, but we scored. And that is a 1-0 to Slovakia. And that's number eight with the goal. I can't really tell who it is. Sorry for my poor ball knowledge. But yeah, it's 1-0. Go on, keep going. Slovakia can keep running here. It's great passing play. And that's 2-0. We are overrunning Albania now. And that is 2-0. And Bosnik has scored again in another match. To make it two for Slovakia. This could be an easy match if we can keep going like this and attacking this well. You know, I don't think Albania have sort of the talent to stop me. Go on, go for the power shot. Oh, it's saved. I don't think it was much power in that one. But we still got the ball back. And Pekarik. No, not that time. And that's going to be half time with the score at 2-0 to Slovakia. It's looking good. To through ball and here we go is there a chance yep it's 3-0 and that will be game over Bosnik has scored to make it free that's another goal for him at this tournament crossed in that's a really good one by Albania and that was a hell of a save by Dubravka twisting and turning into the middle is that four yes it is it's 4-0 and well that's 100% game over and what a win for Slovakia that is. It's going to be game over and Slovakia have won by four goals to nil. What a performance this was by Slovakia. Way better than the Austria game. But Austria felt way better than Albania, obviously. Now the group is looking like this. We're actually top of the group. Austria have got two points just behind us. Norway also have two. And Albania have one. There is a danger that Norway could beat us and Austria could beat us. Albania as well and we could get pushed down to third place which would be really bad because you know I don't want to get pushed down to third because otherwise we might get eliminated but our goal difference is strong so if we do lose against Norway and that happens then well I might be covered here we go then Norway versus Slovakia let's see how good Haaland is on this DLC Great tackle on Haaland, but he still got the ball and Haaland is going to push here and tackled. Fantastic work from Slovakia to stop Haaland in the first 13 minutes. There's still time. I am really worried about Haaland on this one because, you know, it's just going to be insane. I can feel Norway actually being OP on this game. Go on. This could be a chance. Oh, good play. And that's 1-0 to Slovakia. Come on. And it's that man again. Bosnik with the goal, 1-0, come on, that was so good to get rid of that defender, we did a little like ball roll and we just put it into the top corner, here comes Ryerson, into the box to Halland, unsaved, Halland, and over the bar again, how many times is he going to miss in this game, well hopefully all the time, uh oh, Oh, okay, well, he spanned me round and, well, I, was that Haaland? Uh, no, it wasn't. It was Odegaard. Okay, so that's 1-1. One, one. Uh, good move by the AI to spin me there. Absolutely sold me, but it's annoying that I couldn't tackle him. Over the top, what a ball that was by Slovakia. Oh, should have been a little bit more harder with that shot. Oh, amazing. Keep going. Got the ball here. Oh, good play by Slovakia. Yes. We have scored late on and that's 2-1. And Slovakia have taken the lead. That is incredible play because Norway was so tight defensively. Like, they just weren't letting anything through. And then we finally found a ball into the box here. Look. I was twisting and turning, trying to find it. And we found it in the end. Come on, man. Come on. Slovakia are seven minutes away from... Going through to the round of 16. Come on, end the game. End it, yes. Slovakia are in to the round of 16 with two amazing performances against um, Albania and Norway here as well. We managed to stop Haaland from scoring against us. Odegaard did score against us though, so, you know, that's uh, something for Norway to take away from the game. But I think I might have just eliminated Norway.
That is your final table. Slovakia and Austria go through automatically. It remains to be seen if Norway can do it with only two points. All right then, guys. So this is your tournament tree. So Spain have beaten Czech Republic 2-1. Germany beat Wales 2-0 to set up a Spain versus Germany quarterfinal. Belgium beat Ukraine 1-0. And Serbia beat Austria 2-1 to set up a Belgium versus Serbia quarterfinal. We have Portugal versus Croatia. Slovakia versus Sweden. Italy versus Iceland. Iceland and Italy beat Iceland 5-1. England beat Hungary 2-1 to set up a quarterfinal between Italy versus England. I don't know what to make of this game between Slovakia and Sweden. Sweden didn't qualify for this tournament so you know it's gonna be tough still to beat them because Sweden have still got good players you know. They got Isak up top who can be really really dangerous when he wants to be and yeah I don't know. We'll have to see. I mean, it's going to be a really hard match, I think. Headed back. Out to you. Go on. Go on. Oh, that would have been a great goal by Skrinja if he actually scored that one. Go on. Outside of the box. Back into the box. Yes! Come on! Slovakia scored against Sweden. And that is 1-0. Come on! Come on, it's Kaka with the goal, and well, we've taken the lead. Cross that in. Not headed, but we're going to get this. Let's go for the power shot. <laughs> that would have been such a good goal if we actually got that one off. It's going to be crossed in by Sweden. Header off the bar. How did we not defend against it, you know? But luckily it hit the bar. Crossed in and saved. Now we're under a lot of pressure from Sweden. It felt like in the first 20 minutes, we gave Sweden a lot of pressure and we scored from it. But Sweden just cannot find the back of the net, despite all the pressure they put on us. Crossed in. Headed away. They got it and, oh, defender gets right in front of that. Crossed in again and, of course, it does. You just can't stop stuff like this. And Isaac has scored to make it 1-1. Just so annoying, you know, like... The shot came off my defender's face and then nobody defended that cross pretty much. It's so frustrating. It just feels so arcadey. Go on. Good play. Slovakia. Uh, I just got pushed over, but hold on. Yes, it worked out in the end. And that is 2-1. Duda with a goal and Slovakia have retaken the lead. Carlsen crosses that one in. An overhead kick from Isaac. Ten minutes to play. Can we be strong against Sweden? Or will they get an equaliser? Kulazeski crosses it in. And Isaac saved. Our goalkeeper Dubravka has been fantastic in net so far. He's still got eight minutes to show us that he's a brick wall. But he has been absolutely amazing. Literally a minute left. Not even a minute now. Two minutes of added time. I'm trying just to get someone down here. It's going to be a corner to Sweden in the dying seconds of the game. Goalkeeper's coming up for it. Please, no. Don't you dare. Goalkeeper's trying to mark me. And header saved. Oh, my goodness. How scripted is that moment? Genuinely. How scripted is that moment? Like, Dubravka saved it, but it went into the path of Isaac, and it just went in. It's so BS, man. It is really BS. Like... Like, yeah, it's good for the run because obviously the entertainment factor and stuff like that. But look at this. Crossed in. Header saved and into the path of Isaac where I could do absolutely nothing about it. And yeah, that's game over. So um, we go into extra time. We could have won this game, but now we've got to do extra time. Oh, no, that was terrible defending. And again, Isaac's going to get one of these BS goals. I hate it so much. I hate it so much. Dubravka saved it again, but it just falls into the path of Isaac. Such an annoying way to get eliminated. I reckon we'll get eliminated now because, you know, the computer will just be stingy in defense, and I don't blame him. But, damn, man. Like, how many times has that happened? Over the top. Isaac's there, and he scores again. Wow, this is absolutely tragic now. Oh, well, that's the end of the run. I mean, that was a good goal. The ball over the top was incredible. But the two goals Isaac scored, the one in normal time was BS because 
Dubravka palmed it to Isaac, and then the second one was another palm to Isaac. Like, I like th the fact that we can get next generation, um, you know, tournament modes and stuff like that on these games, you know, even if they are, you know, half ass DLCs. But still, like, just the gameplay of EASC is just, oh, it just leaves a lot to be desired. And we scored to make it 4 3. And, well, at least we got something back. Go on. Blocked again. No, no, it's not going to happen. It's basically... Oh, it's just BS. That game was absolute BS. It's very annoying to concede two goals like that. Yeah, yes, it was a competitive game. It was. But I should have won it in normal time. You know, yes, 2010 has its exploits and 2014 is really difficult and stuff like that. But EAFC, man... Like, it just brings it to a whole different level. But that's your quarterfinals, and this is the end of your run. So, if you did enjoy this run today with Slovakia, which was a decent run to be fair until the end, then give it a like and subscribe. Tune in next time for more Euro 2024 content and um, scripted runs from the computer. And um, keep it local as always, and I'll see you again for the next video. Yeah.